In this session, we're going to talk about variables. Variables are really important to programming. Variables are used to store information that the user may input into the system. So I like to think of variables as if they are a bucket. That they form a container that we can actually place information in. So here is my bucket. And the best thing about the bucket is we can actually give it a label. So we can actually give it a name such as age. And if we need to use this information or call this information, we can just call whatever the user puts in here by age. So in Visual Basic, for example, we could actually say that age is equal to 16. And what will happen is, is that 16 is then placed into the bucket. So 16 is put into that age bucket. If I put another age in there and say age is equal to 18, then 18 is placed into the bucket and 16 is lost. So buckets can only hold one object at a time. So you need to be very careful about what you're putting into the bucket. So we can have all sorts of buckets. So we could have another bucket and this one could be name. And we could say name is equal to Leon. And therefore Leon is placed into the bucket. So variables are very, very useful. Now, there are different types of variables. The most common ones that we will be using is integer. And this is for Visual Basic. And this is to hold numbers. Another type we will use is a string. And a string will actually hold characters, also known as char. So the word, such as Leon. This is made up of individual characters and is stored as a string. Another type of variable we use is Boolean. This is a yes, no, or it could be a true, false. And in computer speak, we know it as a one or a zero. So it has two states. It's either yes or no, true, false, on, off, and it allows us to do decisions as well. So a Boolean is that black and white decision. So these are the three major variables that we will use in Visual Basic, and so they're known as the variable type. So when we declare a variable in Visual Basic, we might actually declare s name, and to declare that we go dim s name as string. So what we have is the variable name. We also have the variable type. So this is very important to the computer so they know what type of information is being put into S name. And if we use that line of code, it'll actually create us a bucket. And that bucket will actually be called S name. Now, the reason for the S, the S is Hungarian notation or it's a developer principle. That means that this variable name here contains strings. And we know that by the little s at the front. If I was to declare an integer, or such as age, I would go dim i age as integer. This will declare a variable ih, its type will be integer, and we'll know it's an integer because of the small i at the front. You'll also notice that I'm using camel case because I'm using a lowercase i than a capital A. 
So variables are very important for us as they open up areas within our memory of the computer that we can actually store bits of information in. And we can have as many of these areas and as many of these variables as we want as long as we declare them first and label them individually and appropriately. Remember that you can't use special conditions, reserve words or have spaces in your variable names. So next time you're coding, think of variables as little buckets or containers that you can place information in and use them at another time.